Hello everyone, this is Adam Stewart from stewartmedicine.com. I just want to show you a quick overview of a nice new feature that we have available for patients at uh, the clinic in Maydoc. This uses Ocean technology by Cognizant MD that uh, will securely allow patients to submit requests for prescription renewals online. So if you go to www stewartmedicine.com that'll bring you to my website and patients will now see this new section here for Madoc patient what are called e-requests so if we click here and right now I just have one set up for prescription renewal requests there are other options that might become available later on like new patient intakes and things like that or, or requests for visits uh, but for now we'll just uh, use this uh, demonstration for the prescription renewal so um, again there's some links here if you want to uh, follow up with OSHA, uh, what, what are OSHA e-requests or, or, um, and what is Cognizant ND those will link you to the site but again this is a one-way communication that goes from online only, uh, to our, our um, clinic uh, there's no two-way communication and it's it's uh, totally safe and secure so if patients click here this will open up a separate window browser and sometimes it just takes a few seconds to load but you'll see that the uh, there's a form to fill out for prescription renewals so we can start by doing a fake patient name so I, I frequently use this fake patient name. Uh, patients can enter in their phone number. Um, they will be requ required to enter a date of birth for validation so that we can confirm on the other end what your identity is and, and match it up with your chart uh, online or sorry in our in our own system. So let's just say person was born then. Then you'll be asked to uh, verify which doctor or nurse practitioner is your main practitioner. So who's there? And there's a drop down menu for most of the common pharmacies in our area, but there's also one for others. So a lot of our patients will use the Maydoc pharmacy, but if the patient used a different pharmacy, not, not requested, not here, so they could click here. And you might say, have a pharmacy for example, or, or whatever pharmacy you're using, if it's not listed in that. Um, here you're asked to enter in the number of medications we're going to renew here. And the reason it does that is because you'll see that it will it will um, open up uh, the number of medications that you choose. So if you say three medications, and you click down here, it opens up for three medications. If you click five medications, it will open up for five medications. So it just saves space by just asking you how many medications we're going to renew to start. So let's just say you chose three and you might say naproxen, metformin, and rosuvastatin. And at the space for additional comments, um, you might say, uh, please, Bill for November 20th. So this is a place where patients can put in some additional information that might not be there. So then patients will click finish and it says that the form has been submitted uh, successfully and you may now close the window. So you can close that. And then on our end, we will receive this request uh, and there's no need for the patients to call in uh, and uh, get busy signals on the phone line and this is so this is an attempt just another option for uh, patient convenience thank you for listening